Musical Traditions in Western Culture, a concise survey. A more recent example is a Sumerian lyre decorated with a bull's head. It was discovered in a royal cemetery in Ur, in what is now southern Iraq, and has been dated to approximately 2500 BC. The bearded bull represents the Sumerian god Shamash, who was regarded as a divine judge and the source of light, with the unique ability to descend into the underworld each night and return again at sunrise. This lyre was one of four excavated by a British archaeologist, Leonard Woolley, between 1922 and 1934. The royal burial pit in which it was found contained the remains of many individuals, presumably the entire royal court, judging from their jewellery. They were evidently buried along with the Queen in order to provide her with music in the afterlife. The remains of her court musicians were found with their skeletal fingers in the position in which the strings of the lyre would have been. Nothing at all is known about the music associated with these instruments, either its sound or its purpose. It may be supposed, however, that by representing the bull deity as a part of the instrument itself, music may have been thought to have magical or spiritual properties. This idea is reinforced by evidence provided by the study of modern-day primitive peoples and their attitudes about music. Tribal groups in Papua New Guinea, Aborigines of Australia and Pygmy tribes in the rainforests of the Congo all view music as a vital link to the spirit world, and it may be supposed that musicians of antiquity shared this point of view. In 1787, the Elector sent Beethoven to Vienna with the hope of auditioning for and perhaps studying with Mozart. In Vienna, armed with a letter of introduction from Archduke Maximilian Franz, with whom Mozart was personally acquainted, Beethoven requested and was granted an audience with the great composer. Mozart, though, was in a bad mood. He was harassed by health problems at the time and was in no mood to interrupt his work to listen to this 16-year-old upstart from the boondocks of Bonn. Play something, Mozart said impatiently. Beethoven began to play the opening of Mozart's Piano Concerto No. 24 in C minor. Not that, Mozart said. Anyone can play that. Play something of your own. So Beethoven began to improvise. Mozart was astounded. He went into the next room where his wife, Costanza, was entertaining friends. Stanzi, Stanzi, he is supposed to have said. Watch out for that boy. One day he would give the world something to talk about. Mozart immediately agreed to take Beethoven as a pupil. However, upon returning to his lodgings, Beethoven received word that his mother had fallen ill and was near death, and it was urgently requested that he return to Bonn. By the time Beethoven was next able to come to Vienna in November of 1792, Mozart was dead. With the success of his early albums, The Freewheeling Bob Dylan and The Times They Are A-Changing, some in the media began to hail him as the voice of a generation. However, Dylan himself was uncomfortable with that label and the responsibility it implied. Furthermore, he had begun to contemplate a move towards electric instruments and a rock sound away from the constraints and expectations of the folk community. Dylan said that as he drove in his car one day, he heard, I want to hold your hand on the radio and realised that eight of the top ten songs were also by the Beatles. I knew they were pointing the direction of where music had to go, he said. He decided that there was no reason why he could not write intelligent, thought-provoking songs and perform them with an electric guitar rather than an acoustic guitar. On July the 25th, 1965, Dylan unveiled his new electric sound at the Newport Folk Festival. He had performed to universal acclaim at the 1963 and 1964 Newport Folk Festivals, but when he appeared on stage with an electric guitar backed up by members of the Butterfield Blues Band in 1965,
he was met with boos and catcalls. After only three songs, with the uproar and anger of the audience growing, Dylan and his electric band left the stage. To quiet the crowd, he eventually returned with his acoustic guitar and sang Mr Tambourine Man. And, as a farewell to the Newport Folk Festival, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. Dylan did not return to the Newport Festival for 37 years. <laughs> 